In 1983, Mike Bickle prophesied that the spirit of prophecy would fall upon God's bondservants. Mike said, God is preparing people who are bondservants to receive a powerful anointing. He proclaimed, We will be a people of prophecy, and Elijah will return according to Matthew 17 verse 11. Elijah is coming first and will restore all things. He said his church needed to grow in its understanding of prophets and declared, There is no restoration of all things until the spirit of prophecy is manifested. He described how the Bible stated that during the days of Jesus, people did what they wanted to the prophets because they had no fear of God or interest in heeding the prophetic word. He taught, when we receive true prophets sent by God, it is like we are receiving Jesus himself. That same year, Bob Jones, a man whom Mike Bickle assumed was a prophet, had said he had received a revelation from Zechariah 1 verse 20, which says, The Lord showed me four craftsmen. Bob stated that he and three of his friends were the four craftsmen. Those three were a woman, her son, and a man named Joseph Jones. So he encouraged Mike to install him and these three to be the four craftsmen as prophets over his church. Bob got Mike to anoint the woman and her son, who had quit his job to become a part of what was going on at SKCF, and he was officially set in as one of the prophets. Mike testified that he saw the spirit of prophecy flowing out of both their lives. In front of the congregation Bob prayed and prophesied over them, and Mike did too. Then Mike anointed Joseph Jones as the fourth prophet. But just a short time later, when Mike was with Bob and another group of leaders, Bob said, I had a vision of four craftsmen. You are the four craftsmen. Mike asked, well, how can these four be the four craftsmen if the four people that we laid hands on were the four craftsmen? Bob answered, well, you go with what you got at the time. Mike then regretted that he had laid hands on those four people and Bob's credibility started to sink in Mike's eyes. After this, Mike had very little contact with them, despite what had appeared to be a significant prophetic service. Many years later, former senior leaders at SKCF started to believe the whole prophetic thing was just false.